All right, in this video, I want to talk about blonde Melanesians, which are people who live in Oceania. And uh, they very frequently have blonde hair. So oftentimes people say that if uh, somebody has blonde hair or blue eyes, they must have Indo-European or European ancestry. So uh, people will say, well, they're mixed with English, right? That's why they have blonde hair so frequently. Uh, but that's actually not the case. They aren't mixed with English and the mutation that causes blonde hair in Melanesians is absent in English. So they could not have gotten it from the English. They developed it on their own. Uh, five to 10% of Melanesians have blonde hair. The source for this statistic is Nature Journal. And it's a different kind of blonde hair. European blondness is mostly due to mutations in the HERC2 gene. Uh, we can thank uh, the w the western hunter gatherers and the farmers for us having mutations in this gene uh, once again often I, I was i encounter people saying that uh, blonde hair is due to ancient north eurasians that's wrong that's completely wrong because uh, the mutation that ancient north eurasians had is the keto g gene which is not not whatsoever uh, significant in terms of hair color it's it influences hair color a little bit but it's not significant whatsoever compared to herc2 for example so really blonde hair uh i'm not saying that western hunter gatherers or farmers were blonde but uh, the genes that contribute to blonde hair in modern europeans we mostly got them from the western hunter gatherers and from the farmers melanesian blondness is due to a mutation in the tirp1 gene so it's a completely different kind of mutation mutations in tirp1 are also strongly implicated in European eye and hair colors. However, the Melanesian blonde hair mutation is absent from the European gene pool. So Europeans do not have the mutation that Melanesians have that causes them to have blonde hair. Here I show a chart of variations in the TIRP1 gene. So uh, just look at it from left to right. It's uh, from left to the beginning of the gene, right to the end of the gene. In the beginning, there is RS1408799. It is a big S&P in terms of European eye color and hair color. It's included in, um, I think, SHEP9, a variation in skin hair, eye color, hair color 9. I think it's included in, uh, in that uh, list. Uh, maybe SHEP3 too. Uh, so this one influences European eye color and hair color, and it's the derived allele is mostly found in Europeans, nobody else. So it's just the Europeans who have the derived allele. In the end of the gene, you see RS683. It's also uh, only found in Europeans. The derived alleles are only found in Europeans, and that influences eye color and hair color. In the middle of the gene, uh, we see two SNPs. So first, I will look. I will look at. Okay. I will look at the one on the right, which is RS1328981. Uh, it influences only hair color, but it's found worldwide. So there is a variation from Chinese. Chinese people have a very diverse uh, variation here. Africans, everybody has a variation. But so that's why I'm a little bit skeptical of it, because I don't see that much variation in hair color worldwide. But uh, I guess it's maybe not so significant in terms of hair color. And then we see RS3879071, which is the Melanesian uh, hair color S&P. It's found only in Melanesians, and it influences only hair color. It's right in the middle of the tier 1 gene. Uh, it is called, right here, it is called R93C, blonde human. Um, R93C. So that's the, another name for this um, variation, R93C. Uh, the TIRP1 gene provides instructions for making an enzyme called tyrosinase related protein 1. This enzyme is located in melanocytes, which are specialized cells that produce a pigment called melanin. Melanin is the substance that gives skin, hair, and eye their color. Melanin is also found in the light sensitive tissue at the back of the eye, the retina where it plays a role in normal vision. So here we can see the uh, difference in uh, a difference in Melanesian hair color with the genotype CC, which is the typical genotype that every European, uh, African, uh, everybody who's not Melanesian has. And then you have uh, CT and TT, which are uniquely Melanesian genotypes. 
in this variation R93C. Uh, from the article, I didn't include this in my slide, but from the article, third, around 26 or 30 percent of uh, Melanesians have uh, the derived uh, the derived allele, or maybe or maybe it's the allele frequency. I'm not sure, but it's it's a pretty significant number. So thank you for watching my video and uh, leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe. Goodbye.